NBC 9 News at 4 starts now. Right now, Kansas City leaders are making their way home from our nation's capital. A group from the Metro traveled there for a meeting this morning. One of the topics they discussed was gun violence. Good afternoon, I'm Laura Moritz. And I'm Kelly Eckerman. KNBC 9's Bria Berry is joining us after listening to what Jackson County Legislator Manny Abarca had to say more than a week after that deadly parade day shooting. Bria? Laura Kelly, Manny Abarca has been very vocal about the rally shooting. He was even on our ear the next morning. Abarca says he came to D.C. looking for support and he knows he needs more backing to help anything Jackson County passes. Now he wants to pass background checks and red flag laws. Abarca says he'll waste no time getting legislation on the table. Within me is both uh, very, uh, very hard and sadness, um, but a very uh, fiery fury that is ready to change policies. Uh, we immediately responded. I, I walked out of Union Station and texted our general counsel and said, we need to get to work now. Uh, I want by next week some policy suggestions that we can take to uh, our, our constituents and tell them that we're making this change. We cannot leave it to our state. We cannot leave it to uh, any other jurisdiction. We are the change that we want to see. Let's do that. Abarca had a meeting with the Health and Environmental Committee Monday. Now, that group talked about gun reform policies. He says he plans to hold a meeting every Monday until something passes. We'll keep an eye on it. Kelly. And here is where charges stand in the shooting. One of the adult suspects, Lindell Mays, had his first court appearance yesterday. Both he and Dominic Miller, the second adult suspect, are facing second degree murder charges. Miller has not been booked into the Jackson County Jail yet. He's in custody in the hospital. Two teenagers are also facing gun related charges and resisting arrest charges. Court records show an argument led to the shooting. Lisa Lopez Galvin was shot and killed. 22 others were shot in the incident. Now, services for Lisa Lopez Galvin are Friday and Saturday. A rosary and visitation are being held tomorrow evening at Redemptorist Catholic Church in Kansas City, Missouri. The rosary is at 6.30. The visitation begins at 7. Then a mass and burial are Saturday morning at 10. Lopez Galvin is survived by her husband, three children, and four grandchildren.